What is going on YouTube? Up and Adam here and today I have another Madden 22 video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make coins off of any new program. Today we're going to focus in on the Super Bowl program because it's in the game right now. But this will work for pretty much every single program coming in Madden uh, this year. Okay, so before we jump into the video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button, turn those noti bells on for more Madden content. Like I said, in this video, we're gonna go through the Super Bowl program part one and how I make coins every single time a new program does come out in the game. So as you can see here, this program has a lot to offer, right? We got a bunch of cards, we got rerolls, LTDs, all of that. Today, we are gonna focus in on sniping a little bit because as soon as a new program drops, the market is all over the place. The market hasn't really come down enough or it hasn't adjusted itself for the profits so that's how we take advantage of any new program so what we're going to do first is we're going to go into the auction house and we're going to do some searching okay we're going to look at a few things so the first thing you want to do whenever a new program comes out is go into this into the auction house go to the program and click on the new program that we have right now we have the super bowl pass but this will work for any other future programs in madden so you can see here, an 86 overall is going for about 7,700, okay? Yes, there's only nine minutes on it left, so you do have to wait a little bit, but if we filter down, we can definitely get those 86s for a lot cheaper than 7,700. So we're gonna go to 86 to 87. So we just filtered just a little bit here, just going to the 86 to 87s, and you can see the prices have come down. They're not 7,900 anymore. They're between 6,500 and like 7,000. We can get these even cheaper. So we know that these are gonna sell for this price in about 20 or so minutes, because there's 19 minutes left on these. They're probably eventually, if we sit on this filter for a little bit, we will see some of these close. Yeah, look, closing for 6,500 and 6,900. So we know for sure that they're gonna sell right now for 6,900. So what we need to do is buy these cards for cheaper than 6,900. We know after tax, we're gonna to need to get these for under 6,000 coins to make any kind of profit. So let's go ahead and filter down. So we know that there's a punter, right outside linebacker, wide receiver, D tackle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go type and we're gonna start with the wide receiver. We're gonna go wide receiver and 4,900, 5,000 coins. We know we can get over 6,000 for it. So there you go, we just bought one. We're gonna make a thousand coins on that card. Yes, it does not seem like a lot, does it? It's like, wow, well, that's not really a lot of coins. You're right, it's not really a lot of coins. However, if you're putting up like 20 cards every, like, and they're selling every 20 minutes, you're making like 20,000 every 20 minutes. That adds up to about 60,000 coins every hour. Not too bad. Here's one for 4,800. So we're gonna grab that. As well, I'm going to throw this card up for 6,900, 7,000 coins. It will eventually sell. You don't always have to focus on the 86s. You can go for the 88s, the 90s, the 92s, and the 94s, depending on your coin stack. This is more for the smaller coin stacks to, to build that coin, all your coins up. So we can go ahead and now check, take a look at the... Go ahead and take a look at the 88. I don't think there was a lot of profit in the 88s, to be honest. But let's go ahead and quickly check here. So the 88s are currently selling for about 12,000 coins just on this filter. This will go really quick. I guarantee if we sit here for another like few seconds, it'll sell for about 10,000. But we know on the majority of them are going to sell for about 12,600. So your goal for this is to get it for cheaper than 10,000, right? So what we'll do, we know we have a cornerback, quarterback, we have left guard, and is that it? Free safety. So let's go ahead and just search for those. So we'll start with the corner. If we can make some coins off of this one. The menus are quite slow lately. I'm not sure if it's my console. I'm not sure if it's the game. But my menus have been really, really slow. There we go. 5,700. That's a snipe if we can grab it. I don't think we will. Do we? Ooh, 5,700 coins. We could flip that for 12,000. That's like a 6,000 coin profit. Same thing with this 9,000 card. Right, we'll grab that. We'll try to flip it for 12. Make some decent profit there, like a thousand or two thousand coin profit. Okay, so there you go. And the same thing, just go to the types, see what cars we have, and go from there. Okay, so we knew we had, I think we had a free safety as well. We can go check that out. Eight thousand, we'll grab it. And just like I said, go buy a bunch of these, put all 20 on the block, and then go play a couple solos, go watch a show, whatever it is. Come back in like 20 minutes or so, it should be sold. 
All right, now let's go and let's check out. I I saw there's a good there's a good amount of profit in the 90s. I was really doing well in the 90s. I was buying them for like 22,000, selling them for 30. I'm not sure if they're like that still. But let's go ahead and take a look. So they're going for about 30,000 coins, and we know we have a right tackle, a corner. Do we have anything else? Left outside linebacker. All right, and right tackle. So let's go ahead check out the corners. You know, we're going to get it for 30,000. So we got to get for like 26 or under to make some nice profit. So let's go see if we can snipe some of these. Like I said, menus have been really slow lately. All right. So here we go. I just finally got back in there. 23,000. We know we're going to sell it for 30 if I can get it. I did. So I'm going to make a nice profit on that. Probably like 3,000 coins. I could probably get this 25, but I'm going to be a little bit more patient in terms of this. Again, it's up to you how much you want to profit off of each card. Sometimes it's better to just buy a bunch and maybe not make as much profit, but you're spending less time and you're constantly making coins. I do like that, but completely up to you on how much you want to spend, okay? And you can do the same thing for the 92s. Whatever, whatever kind of new program that we do get, all right, that is what you're going to want to do because that as soon as we get a reroll, a lot, of, a lot of people are throwing in their coins on rerolls, and then they're selling these for really cheap, especially on a new program. You're able to find a bunch. I'm going to show you some of the stuff I sold, just so you can see here. Not everything is sold just yet. I'm still in the process, but you can see here. Let's go to the newest. We have we sold the 90s for 30,000 coins each. I think we sold. We haven't sold these for 7,000 yet. We sold one for 65, 68, uh, 61. I don't know why I sold that for that cheap. I'm not sure why I did that. It might be a bit of a mistake on my end, but you can definitely sell more of them. I've been selling a bunch on um, the No Money Spent account as well, but for here, it's super, super easy. I'm going to show you another coin making tip that you can do right now. It's a little bit more risky, but whenever we get a new program in the game, past sets could be really, really nice, especially when people are opening a ton of rerolls. A lot of those cards go for really cheap and you can make some decent coins on old sets. So I'm going to show you the exchange set right now that I really like. It's going to be this 87 to 88 exchange. It takes 385s for an 87 to 88. You can get 85s for like 3,500 or less. So each set right here costs about 10,000 coins. Okay, so we're on MudGG. I just sorted by 87 to 88. Right, and these are the most expensive 87 to 88 right now. We have a Coralie Tom Brady going for 55,000 coins. The Rasul Douglas team of the week card is going for 74,000. Right, you can see a bunch of these cards. And if you go to the very, very end, the worst you can get is about 7,000. So you're going to lose the most you can lose on this set. This exchange set is about 3,000 coins. Not the greatest, right? There is a little bit of risk involved, but the profit that you can make is, is much better than what you can lose. So I built a couple. Let's go see what we get from this one. All right, so we got our unopened packs. We got five of these. So we spent 52,000 coins or so on this. Our goal is to get back obviously more than 52,000. So let's go ahead and see what we can get from here. Here's gonna be a legend pull. 87 Richard Seymour, definitely not great. Probably gonna lose on that one. But again, this is a little bit more risky, but there is some potential here. Come on, tell me this is still Douglas. <laughs> well, is that streamer luck? That might be streamer luck right there. That might be streamer luck. All right, so it looks like we just made all our coins back on that on that roll right there. That Rasul Douglas, I think, is going for like 70,000. Here's an 88 playoff card. We got one more or two more. I can't remember now. There's another 88. That was the last one. So there you go. Let's go see what we got back for it. Obviously, I got really lucky and got a... The Rasul Douglas that is going for a decent amount. So we spent 52,000 and we are going to get back. Let's go have a quick look. Let's start with the Seymour. He's probably going for about that 7,000 coin range. 9,000, okay. So that's almost like break even. Lost of like, tax there. Rasul Douglas will be 77,000. So that pays for every single pack we just opened. 77,000 for this card. I'm going to go ahead, quickly sell it now before his price drops. The reason why this card's going for a lot is because he got a. He just got a free card, a free 95, and to power that up, you need this card in there. So, so there you go, that's 77, so we are already up 20,000 coins, and then everything else here is going to be just profit. So uh, we'll probably make about, I want to say we'll make about 50,000, yeah, 10,000, yeah, we're, we're going to be just fine here. 
I'm gonna say we made about 50,000 coins if we did the math here. So not a bad risk, I don't think. Obviously, completely up to you if you want to risk it, but lots of profit right now. 85, like I said, are going for about like three to 3,500 if you filter, very, very easy. All right, and sometimes when we get different programs, we have LTDs, and some of those LTDs, if they're flying out of the rerolls, their power-up goes for a lot, especially if they don't have a power-up in the game. So for example, we have this Marcus Allen who got a 97 LTD, and you can see his price is going for about 300, so it's pretty cheap, really, really cheap, but look at this. His power-up is going for 390,000 coins. It's an 85 overall power-up, and I decided to give it a shot. I had a lot of binder trash. We just sold the Rasul Douglas for 70,000 coins. I had a lot of binder trash and a lot of like 83s and 84s. So I decided to go with this 85 to 86 exchange, hoping to pull maybe that power up that we need. I don't know if it's really worth it, but I'm going to take a chance, especially if it's going for 300,000 at the moment. I definitely think it's worth the risk. All right, not great start here. We got three more of these. No power up. We just got to see that power up animation potentially get 300,000 coins. Probably not, but you still see there is different sets that you can try to pull this out of. You can open pro fantasy packs, uh, get a player packs. He might be in there as well. Um, and there you go. Ronnie lot, not, not who we wanted, but still I can use those 85s and put them into the 87 to 88 exchange now and potentially get another Rasul Douglas. But yeah, that is everything you need to know about a program. What you should be doing, the main thing you should be doing when a program drops is sniping the program cards, flipping those right away, super profitable. You can't lose coins on that if you're doing that right away. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do down below and I'll catch you with another one very soon.